Hi, Cousin Walt. Hi, yes. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Here's the story that took place in uh, November the 26th, 1992. My son, Wally, was 11 years old. His sister, Tina, was 13. His sister, Heidi, was 8. I was 37. His mother was 33. He was 11. And I was teaching full-time at the time in Alberta, Canada, Brooks, Alberta. And I was reviewing my notes, so I was looking at my notes, and Wally said to me, Dad, and I was looking at my notes, and I said, Yes, son. He says, I'm never going to die, you know. And I looked up at him, and I said, Oh, what do you mean? He was looking at me, but he couldn't see me, so he was speaking to my voice. And he didn't wear glasses, and I'll put on his face, because I remember it. I said, what do you mean? He goes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I believe in Jesus, Dad. I'm never going to die. I'm going to go to heaven. I'm going to be with Jesus and see Aunt Lini and Aunt Phil. I'm never going to die. And I said, you are so right, son. And then two days later, he died. And we had been fighting brain cancer for four and a half years. We thought it had gone away after he had had his chemotherapy and his radiation. Following his brain surgery, he had suffered a stroke, so he had to learn how to walk again. He had to learn how to ride a bike again. And I'm a, a, I have a phobia for needles, but he had to have growth hormone shots, so I started, I was the first one to give it to him. And the nurse trained us how to do it, so I started giving him shots, even though it made me nauseous. <laughs> but it was about him, mm. not me. And so that was Thanksgiving Day in 1992, November 26. And he died two days later on a Saturday. And his whole school in Alberta, his whole Christian school closed down and came down to the funeral. And Wally's mother and I did his funeral. And we carried his coffin in the back of our van. And we, we performed his funeral in front of all of his friends. And you see there's hope. When an 11-year-old boy who was facing death, he knew about it. He knew he was going to die. And he said to me, when we told him his cancer had come back, he says, does that mean I'm my can I'm going to die? And I says, yes, it does, son. And he raised both arms and he said, oh, well, I guess I'm just going to go to heaven and be with Jesus. <laughs> so you see... You and I suffer a lot of things. This world is a world where there's plenty of suffering, and you've had your share, and I've had my share up to this point, because we know there's more to come. And it's turning all of my heart, my mind, and my soul to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, just like 11-year-old Wally Bergeron did. <laughs> Wally Bergeron. So bless you. We love you. Be encouraged. And we'll see you next time. You're a wonderful Bye -bye. father. Thank you.